Penang is known as one of the food capitals of the world, but did you know that Malaysia has rainforests that are much older than the Amazon jungle? Well, lucky for us, one of these forests is located at the top of Penang Hill, so let's get some fresh air while also visiting a stunning Buddhist temple. This is day tripping in Penang. So we just arrived here and got our tickets and it's Saturday and we got here at 8 a.m. As you can see, barely any people here. So if you do come on Saturday or on the weekend, make sure you come early. Now this hill is definitely one of the most popular attractions here in Penang and for many good reasons. Starting with the oldest funicular ride in Southeast Asia, this 5 minute journey has been in operation since 1923. Even though you could hike up the hill for a few exhausting hours, I think it's much nicer to take something as iconic as this. <laughs> okay, so here we are in Penang Hill and first thing I gotta say is the food here up here is amazing. Like everything is homemade, homemade smoothies, I saw some uh, lady doing fresh uh, noodles, fried noodles in the wok and you just don't get that in other places. Usually you have to pay like 20 bucks for like a pre-packed sandwich or something. So yeah, I love Malaysia for that. The touristy hotspots have homemade stuff, that is really cool. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are caffeinated and ready to go to learn some history. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> This gallery has just opened recently and for a small fee, it's definitely worth a visit. Not only you can see what creepy bugs or cute animals are waiting for you in the forest, this place also nicely betrays the history of Penang Hill and the funicula. Also, since this place is very new, you pretty much have the viewing deck all to yourself. It's really interesting. This is 1930s YouTube channel. Does it work? Yeah. See? It's like 3D. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to admit, I learned some stuff at the gallery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After finish, you go to the number shop. It's a cafe. It's a linear shop. Show the ticket. The driver will send you back. Yeah, they can drive. Just show the ticket. Yeah. And they will bring it back to the Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You go. Yeah. So that was 40 ringers each because one of the helpers. <laughs> who works for free here actually told us if we pretended to be a family of four we would get it 20 ringgits off i'm recording our family <laughs> yeah. yeah if you want to just go on
So this area called the habitat lets you walk amongst one of the oldest rainforests in the world. This forest is actually a lot older than the Amazon jungle. Being over 130 million years old, this place has existed since the dinosaurs roamed the earth. So as you wander around, look out for all the different plants, animals, and sorry, no dinosaurs. For free. I think that's the haunted hotel. That one? Or yeah. Maybe that one. Can't wait to go there. Can't wait to see some Malaysian <laughs> ghosties. Watch out, ghouls. Here I come. Another amazing part of the habitat is the treetop walkway. You can actually camp here in this area if you book ahead, so keep that in mind. When you're at the top, you can get some amazing 360 views of the surrounding areas. Even on a cloudy day, it's still worth coming here. <laughs> I feel like it's not its course. <laughs> yeah, it's <was> fun. <laughs> there are many great activities in the habitat, so definitely check this place out when you make the trip up to Penang Hill. And of course, you always exit through the gift shop. Cool, right? It's like really, really massive. <laughs> Need a good couple of hours here. This Buddhist temple built in 1891 is the largest on Penang Island and it is said to be the largest in all of Malaysia. Being only a 10 minute drive from Penang Hill, this temple is quite unique because it combines Buddhist teachings and Chinese culture. As you explore the grounds, the first thing you'll notice is the thousands of detailed carvings, murals, statues and paintings just everywhere. It's truly incredible to see all the details up close and there is also many nice gardens to walk through. So detailed eh? One highlight is the stunning views from the beautiful seven-story pagoda. Inside are over 10,000 Buddha statues, and you will definitely see all of them as you walk up a lot of stairs. Another must-see area is the God of Mercy statue, which is located at the top. You can either walk there or take a small funicular. It stands over 30 meters high and is very stunning to see up close. Also, don't forget to take a photo with your zodiac sign as this seems like the thing to do here. And after a quick Google search, I realized my sign is the snake. So definitely check this place out. Buddy. Snake, don't put money on in the mouth. Don't know why. Good luck maybe. 
No, we don't have. Your zodiac sign is a monkey. <laughs> You thought about it. <laughs> thought about jumping on the horsey. We paid for a return ticket and we didn't even use it. Ah. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll have a few more Malaysian episodes coming up very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.